this. Okay. Yeah, and I'm about to run out of fuel. And I have to come back to Earth. Okay, but I found out the, the location of the... Utwig uh, main system. It's this one, the beta. the other one go away after that so at least there's that okay I thought it went away just as do oh my god I thought they <laughs> I did this before and it didn't do all these guys. <laughs> Anyways. Okay, he's right there. No! Okay, he's still there. Okay, let's go into it. Come on, come on. Okay. Whoa. Yes, I have some items to sell. I have some data. La sick. Yes. What would you like to sell? But I also have rainbow. Your ship's log indicates that you discovered the word in exchange. What three? To buy some fuel. Yes. How much? Fuel. fuel. Thank you. Oh, I thought I I bought <laughs> Oh no I didn't even go all the way through this one I think When the Iroquois entered Gamma Serpentis, the home star of the Yehat, their queen made a sudden change of allegiance and allied with the Iroquois hierarchy. They became Urquan combat thralls. This act was viewed by most Yehat starship officers as ultimately dishonorable, the desperate act of a corrupt regent to maintain her throne. The Yehat shame was greatly magnified by the Shofixti's show of courage when they destroyed their own star system to slow down the Urquan Armada. Captain, you have heard all that we have to say about aliens indigenous to this region. Should we learn more in the near future, we shall be certain to sell it to you. Not sure where I am exactly in the historical information because I want to go all the way through with them if I can with the credits I have. 500 is not that much, it costs 100 I think to go each one. So I think we're gonna go away for now. What we're done.
I hope the battle fares well, Captain. Before we go on, I have something important to tell you. The Shofixti have returned. Their ships can now be built in our shipyards. With their vast numbers swelling our ranks, we won't have to worry about running out of able-bodied crew. And I'm sure their volunteers will reduce the cost for new crew. The analysis reads as follows. Subject, hyperwave broadcaster, unknown design. Data, this technology is new to us, but though a bit primitive by Alliance standards, is capable of generating a very strong signal. Summary, should you wish to call someone in hyperspace or send a message through a mile of steel, this baby will do just fine. That's the end of our scientist report. More fuel for the fire, eh, Captain? We shall await. Okay. So now we have Shadix these airships. Uh... And crew is only one instead of three. So this is super cheap now. Did it start at 3? Maybe it started at 5 or something. And it went cheaper the more we accumulated the... I'm not sure. So let's go over here. Show fix the... Another one. the Elbor Cannon, which is the most powerful one. Then we have the Fusion Blaster. And I can shoot a lot with this configuration. Two tracking system. I can put another one. Yeah, I can go with... Another Shiva furnace. Here we could go with another tracking system. I don't think I need three. Two seem to be okay. Maybe another crew pod. is not really a big problem. We'll go with this. Let's buy one more ship here. Okay. This is fine. I don't I can put weapons here if I wanted to. So I can shoot like this, but it's really not that useful. I tend to fire in front of me. So eventually I'm going to change this one for a Shiva Furnace, but we'll see how this works. Maybe the tracking system uses power. Oh, we need, we see max combat energy. I have no idea what, what, what it was before. Higher or lower? <laughs> it's 
So this is better? Hey. Like this? That makes no sense. Okay, whatever. I'm gonna put that. It makes no sense. There's a bunch of things we could do. We could go back to the Utwig. Um, but I want to do a, a couple of things here. Um, why do I not have the Yihad bubble? Like, should I go see the Pekong? Should I... Uh, I want to see what's up with them, but at the same time I have nothing really to do with them. There's a couple of other things that I think are more important. So I want to go into Mycon space because I know that they're responsible for the Sirene. There's so many things you can do. I, I might just have to enter this space here and talk to one of the he had, but can I prevent this? Is there almost so let's go there. Seen on the view screen. It's none other than the flattened old face of our friends, the human. But, old ally, are you not knowing that we and your presence outside the slave are. This is being a true thing, there will be many changes, but we are a species long wise in the ways of deceit. You must be proving these words you say, Captain. Send the show fixed it to us as a way of proof. I will not subject one of my officers to such danger. How do I know you won't just kill him? No, no, I'm gonna send them. We are scanning the separation of a vessel from your fleet, Captain, you and indeed its configuration matches that of a show 60 scout vessel. This had better not be a trick, Captain. We are knowing the power of a glory device, and if you detonate the weapon near us, the price for you shall be dear, very dear. The scout has docked, and we await the pilot's appearance at the airlock. The atmosphere cycle is complete. The door slides open, and... It's true! The show 60 are alive! Look at that 
got multiple shining black eyes and sweet claws. I'm chilled on a return from oblivion. But no, we are faced with the cruelest truth. We who have sacrificed our honor, we who have lain with the enemy, we are not worthy. We are nothing. We are less than nothing. But we, we are not spotty. We are the Yehats of the Starship Clan. We will not let us lie any longer. Listen, and I speak these words. If our queen makes the dishonorable command, then it is the queen who has no honor. And the dishonorable queen is no queen at all. We, the Zeep Zeep, are the only clan who remembers the true meaning of honor. We shall tear the queen from her throne. The 2,000 year reign of the Zeep Zeep queens is over. The revolution has begun. Revolution. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna go away and come back later here, I think. <laughs> Let's do the, yeah, the Yihad and the Yihad. Let's just, just let them battle a little bit together. And, yeah, I wanna go into Mycon space, which is Bray Constellation. I essentially want to go to Beta Bray. It's the only coordinate I have. Strange world, according to the Pekank, I think. So, Betty, where is it? What is this? Scorpion. It's near Beta Brea. What? Did I ever encounter a Micon? I'm not even sure. I'm way faster than that little guy. <laughs> I'm gonna encounter one, that's for sure. No, I don't think so. I don't think I ever went into the space. It's fine to uh, talk to the guys. Well, not sure. They might just want to kill me. Yeah, let's talk to them before going to. Uh... Maybe they're gonna be aft friendly. <laughs> we are part of Jafarwa. Jafarwa is the hot light in the darkness. All else is unfulfilled void. We are the Mycon. Okay. Mycon, please try to understand. We wish peace between our people. Time to die. I want to argue with taste. Fried in butter. Wow. You don't have much to say. A single spore lands, finds nourishment in decay, and soon attains maturity. In turn, it exhales a cloud of new life, a thousand spores. Each lands finds nourishment in decay. So progresses Jefferwa. Jefferwa. Oh, we have nothing to say to them. 
Jaffo Wapu Bill is the fibers and I grow turgid. Violent action ensues. And he's gonna fight us. We're gonna try some ships. Let's try those little Shafixti ships. Oh, my secondary attack is suicide, I think. It would make sense with their species. Um, I don't know, whatever. Oh. <laughs> what was that? Uh, I have some difficulty uh, navigating with these. Uh, La Lalilu. No, uh, Arilu. Lowly the with his name. Let's go command the Fui Fo. Oh yeah, I dropped bomb from my ass. But this guy is not the guy who will like chase me. Of course I encounter one of the only aliens who doesn't chase me. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah this, these guys with the uh, the humans will kick his ass. Let's choose the humans and kick his ass. Even with this, I'm doing something here. They're not great fighters, I think. Ah, their crew regenerate though? Yes, full crew. Yeah, let's use the humans. Shit is my favorite. Oh my god, there's other ones. <laughs> yeah, short range, uh, not good. Let's go with this one. Let's kick his ass. about it. No, 
don't want to get hit by that. <laughs> I like doing the little dance. Boom, boom. You die! Oh, I can destroy the things he shoots at me! Oh, that's awesome! <laughs> they do hurt a lot, 73. But... That's a lot of money. Yeah. Bring it on. I'm ready to kick your ass. We oh, why did I do that? I should have just attacked. Boom. Did he shoot himself? What the fuck happened? <laughs> there you go. Thousand bucks. Easy money. You want some more? <laughs> I'm gonna go in on the planet now if I can. Is that the planet? It's not sure. Nope. No, why did I talk to you? I'm filled with my parents. Parents. I am they, and they are us, <laughs> then, and now. Jeffo what fills in my fibers, and I grow turgid, violent action ensues. Let's get violent. Ow! Almost dead. He uh, did one last aura for dying. Die! You die! That's it. I think that's the planet. Yeah. Maybe I should save this. Converse? This is a special place filled with Jaffa Wapa. We must not allow it to be soiled by the non. You must go now. What makes this world so special? Jaffa Wapa is the power of life. Hot warmth in the cold void, it flows through all things, binding them together, making them one. You are non Jehovah. You cannot understand. Below is the pod of Jehovah. There for a thousand centuries, when we are cold, the pod opens and warms us. 
When it is dark, the pod clenches, and lo, there is light. You are the non. The pod is not for you. You must leave. You must leave. Well, just be going now. Oh. You are the non. You must go now and never, never return. return. Oh, they're cool with me now. So, what should I do? What should I do? Everybody's cool with me now? That's cool. I don't know what I'm going one of these planets here. I thought I would be able to talk to them about the deep ones. So they're okay with me now? They don't attack me? That's cool. It's weird. Why? I don't get it. Is this a trap? Like a no, that's not a chlorine world. Chlorine world. Where's the other planet? These are small planets. the system a little bit. There's no one here?
Lots of chlorine world here. Ugh. their world like the siren they lived on this a planet that they name uh, Sira I think there's no way to find that planet here
pieces for here. Put it on this ring here. I'm not sure I did it. Oh, it's right there. God damn, it's so small. I'm not sure I did this one. Vicky, how you doing? Happy birthday, Retro. Oh, thanks. It is my birthday. Thanks for the sub. Very appreciated. I know there's people here. guys want to talk to me <laughs> well they don't want to talk to me that's a lot of dudes <laughs> too slow to move for me <laughs> Oh, what was that? Just one little spot. That's my nose. Ah. If I go away from here... Oh. They're all here now. We... The Deep Children are a part of Chapulwa. The Dwellers... The Dwellers in the Mobile... Jaffo Wap This game is not just about the pew pews. There's a lot of conversation in this game. It's pretty uh, in depth. It looks simple. It's a simple concept, but my god, what they did with it is just incredible. The number of alien races and all their different personality and stuff. I want to go on that blue planet here. Boom. <laughs> Did 
even though I get some cool stuff, this is still kind of a waste of time. Since I know that the clock is ticking. I would not play the game the same if I didn't know that. Uh, I would definitely fail at this game <laughs> the first time I played. If I would have played when it came out, I would have failed grandiosely. And I would have hated it for it, I think. Because I, I want to explore. Oh shit. <laughs> you shouldn't have. We. Jeffo. I'll see myself. Bye! Jeffo. You're gonna die, Jeffo. Take care. Ah! No, we lost a lot of crew for that. You will pay! You will feel the vengeance of the humans. I would think that in... In the universe with lots of species. Oh, 22 crew, ouch. This is not good. That, yeah, with a bunch of species running around, I would think that the humans would be one of the most vengeful, vengeful species. We are very uh, vengeful. <laughs> No, 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 no. <laughs> that was five ships. We're all destroyed now, though. No, I did not want to go back in there. Some of the other ones would be this one. Maybe I should go more in the constellation that they that they conquered recently, maybe? Like Beatrix. That's like a nice little place to go. It's pretty far though. I might reload and go there. Something. Plato! Marada! <laughs> thanks for the thanks for the bits and thanks for the the happy birthday. Happy B Day smile. <laughs> happy B Day smile. <laughs> yeah. It's a little Campbell for you. I love my Bruce. I love Army of Darkness, it's just such a quotable movie. A lot of my uh, notification come from Army of Darkness. I'm especially proud of my follow notification. Oh, what is this? This is weird. Yeah, I watched the entire first season, I think, and I, I might have stopped there. And then I never came back to it. Not that it was bad or anything, I just... I don't know. Like I said before in another stream recently, this this week or last week, I sometimes I'm not really that. Uh, if I don't get invested in a TV show, like recently, because before I would just watch anything. But right now, it's I, I'll watch something and I'll be oh that, that's cool. But then after a week, I'm like, 
Oh yeah, I used to watch that that show. <laughs> mm. Maybe I should just not watch it because I don't care that much. It seems. Oh, the other ones at the other end there. stuff in there. Like, this is good, but this is less good. <laughs> A lot less good, but they almost look the same and they usually pair them up, so I don't know if they... of course it was intentional. Of course it was intentional. I'm picking that stuff up, but I was just scouting this, so maybe this is kind of a waste of time now. There's just four planets here. Lots of mineral, but it's crappy minerals. Yeah, I don't know. Explored all the planets here. Okay. I might just go directly to the siren with the information I have. I don't think it's enough. Maybe. If I really thought there would be something in here. I'm gonna take a little break here and come back in a couple of minutes.
Okay, sorry if this took an eternity. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna reload this one, I think. Well, what is this? Nope, not this. Maybe this. Beta, beta brea, beta brea. No, they're not all in beta brea. Okay. Can I see where I am? Oh, it's at the bottom. No, it is not. Oh, yes, it is. Bottom left. Okay, so this is the last time I was seen in beta brea. <laughs> Yeah, fuck it. So I have to explore this this place entirely. <laughs> Energy scan. <gasps> Is that it? Please. Oh, 
Oh yeah, there's something here. Okay, what we're gonna do, because I wasted a lot of time here, it's gonna reload. I'm gonna reload this one. Uh, no. Yeah, this one. I picked up a couple of things here. dangerous world. still one, whatever. Oh, I still have to go anyways. <laughs> Wasting fuel. Might as well pick up this. Oh. Near an unusual volcanic fumarole. Fumarole? We have found a fragment of some kind of biological encasement of shell, which is made of an incredible tough, heat resistant mat of fungal fibers. We can find no sign of any life form which may have hatched from this eggshell, but we'll bring it back in the flagship for further study. Okay. And there wasn't anything good on that other planet, I think. I thought I would have to battle some ships. No, there must have been something good. Uh, oh, almost. There's no one here now. Yeah, this is good. faster way there. Is it faster though? Ah, 
There's no fast way to go to Battle Service. Might as well might as well go from here. Yep. This is pretty far. Let's let's test something out. Okay, I just say it anyways, I'm just saying. So it's July 4th. Star map. I have enough fuel. So there you go. I'm at 32 fuel, it's July 4th. July 16, 7 fuel left. I'm gonna save this in case I decide to take it. Now let's load this. 7 fuel left, July 16. I can even see it here, yeah. Okay, so let's load this. But now, oops. We do this. Might be a little better. What are those ships? Sirene ships? In what space am I in now? Quan ships? Is it the same? <laughs> Seven fuel that's the same and July 15. It's like July 16th. <laughs> so it's almost the same, but now there's people in my ass, which I don't like. So I'm gonna take the other one. This one. Uh, which planet? I cannot remember. Definitely not this. Ah. Ah. Okay. 
Welcome back, Earthling. What do you wish of us? Talana, I have brought proof that the Mycon Deep Children destroyed your world. Sira. Let me see this proof, Captain. Look at these fungal egg sacs. We found them near a crustal, crustal puncture in a shattered world. Great shadow. guys! These fragments, they are identical to the debris we found near the punctures on Syrah. We never guessed that the fragments might be organic. To have survived the entry, nothing organic would remain. Unless... Unless it was genetically constructed for this purpose. And only the Mycons possess this capability. The Mycons will pay dearly for their crimes. We will not sit here and do nothing while the Mycon fiends are free to roam the galaxy, perpetrating their evil. You wanted our cooperation in fighting the Urquan. You've got it. Excellent. Provided you first help us seek our revenge ah. against the Mycon race. Help us to destroy. Oh, yeah, pretty them. easy to destroy. We can, we can do that. Crew 55, though. Uh, can we do this another time? Okay, so what do you want us to do? So, what do I get from this? Yeah. Our first step is to get some mobility. We Maybe have some fine starship officers aboard, and they're all eager to go after the Mycons. But without our penetrator starships, we're totally ineffectual. Okay. So our first step has to be recovering our space patrol combat fleet. We know that the Urquan didn't destroy them. They never waste anything. But we believe they have sealed them in some kind of deep vault in the surface of an alien planet. I've already been there. The vault is on the moon of Epsilon Camelopardalis 1. I couldn't open it. Yes, I remember that. So what do you get for, for this? Wonderful! Then the job is already almost complete. Captain, we've assembled a small team of our most skilled officers. We will send them to your ship on board their own small shuttle. We feel that in the interest of efficiency, we keep our officers away from your crew, at least until the mission is over. As soon as you what? arrive at the vault, our people will take over. Figure out a way to open the vault and bring our penetrators back here. Very well then, Commander Tanana. I'm on my way. Just remember, I'm doing this for you, sweet cakes. <laughs> if I die, just remember that I, I really like you. So, what do we get for this? Um, um, uh, it's a. Uh, mm, uh. <laughs> what do I get from this? Come on. Good luck, brave Earthling. When your mission is successful, on, be maybe then we can get to know each other better. <laughs> oh my god. Ah. Okay, so... Where is that again? Check the map. Oh, I have a teleport that teleports me right on top of it. We're not far though. Yeah, this might be faster. Just go. Uh, maybe not. Ah, no more fuel. Manifest. Oh. Yeah, let's uh, device Welcome. Just have 500 credits. What great? Well, just. It's fine. You would. Yeah.
Yeah. Yeah, this is definitely faster. Oh, we're in Koran space now. I didn't realize that. Uh, but it's... Uh, Epsi-1A. explored everything here, so there's no reason to waste fuel on this 1A, so it's the moon. Hey, 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 hey. Open the subterranean vault which contained the siren space patrol penetrator starships. <laughs> this game is not subtle. The siren captains have assumed command of their vessels and instructed us to rendezvous with them back at the pedal troops. Here going directly to Beetlejuice might have been faster than using portals. I think that's what the game wants us to do. But yeah, it's not so bad. I didn't want to fight that Earth one. Eight more four. I'm at 85 fuel. No, you don't use fuel here. That's very interesting. Okay. Time passes, but no fuel. Now we can proceed with our plan for revenge against the Mycon. From our analysis of the deep child fragments you showed to us, and a review of the recorded Mycon transmissions from the war, 
we've established the kind of world the Micons desire for their hideous, deep children. They need a planet like your Earth or our Syra, one rich in water and oxygen and possessing a molten, active mantle. Our plan is to lure the Micons to such a planet and then attack them when they least expect it. We know of just okay. such a world. When the Urquan were analyzing their massive planetary data to find a new home for my people, one of the close candidates, ranked just below Gaia, was a blue world orbiting close to the star Organon. Captain, we need your services again. Here is what you must do. You must go to the Micon and tell them of this world. They will find that the world is suitable. And when they go to Organon, we shall be there. <sighs> waiting for them. Okay. Then, we shall destroy them. So, what if I die doing all this dangerous stuff? What about us? <laughs> Don't worry, my human. We will be together again. Someday. Back to the Micons. Holy oh, shit, another running around here. Yeah, I guess that would be the fastest way. That's not right. Ah, shit. This one here. This is the equivalent of quick travel in this game. <laughs> Quasi space. Okay, so just have to enter the Micon. I hope so. Or I'm going to beta up. to go back to that is that even the old world I'm not sure if it's Jump what? maybe oh yeah I'll blow it into bits on old world
Ow. No, <laughs> I don't want to hit the planet. Played Space Rangers. Space Rangers. I don't think so. It kind of rings a bell. Space Rangers. Maybe. Oh, I think I know what you're talking about. No. <laughs> it's a TV. There's a TV series. I did not. 2002. Interesting. Holy shit. X. Uh, actually good. That actually looks good. Wow. That looks like Star Control. Never heard about it. Is it good? Shit. Never heard about it, never saw anything, and there's a sequel to that, so it must have been something. Holy shit! It's very well received. Oh, Space Ranger HD on Steam. Very positive reviews. Interesting. Wow. Well, I'm always uh, on the lookout for new uh, games, so yeah, that's cool. Is wild RTS and text adventure. <laughs> so it's kind of like this. It's kind of like more than just a uh, shoot. Ace in the dark. I would say Space Rangers 2 is a great space game. It's lighter, more humorous approach game. Oh, this is very humorous. Well, you just came in, right? <laughs> There's no humor right now with these guys. Now it's all revenge and stuff, but this game is all over the place. This game is crazy. It's crazy. Star Control is much more serious? Really? Holy shit. This is not serious at all. Like, at all. You've got a species that's completely depressed. Um, in the Pekong, they have like weird dreams. Um, like every they're almost all stereotypes the siren is all about sex and there was a vex that wanted to have sex with um, with us or there's a lot of sex going on the chivoxy had to have sex with like cryogenic maiden and the spathy are completely fucking crazy <laughs> the spathy are like they're weaklings and they're always want to uh, you have returned to our special place like this this is, is not permissible <laughs> i guess Leave. this whole stream these aliens that i've encountered today are definitely uh, there's no humor at all it's all very serious it depends on the alien <laughs> What makes it special? The world so special to you. There's a world at the Star Organon. I believe it is perfect for your deep children. Shuffle what? Shuffle what? Light, hot, warm in the cold void. 
it flows through all things, binding them together, making them one. You are non -jump. Yeah, I must not when know how to play this path, the ships, because I don't find them that great. Well, now that I figured out that there's a secondary weapon, I guess the the ass missiles can be useful against most. But the only time I use them, uh, I, I tested that out. It was against enemies that are not really that don't like uh, chase you or anything. It must depend on some kind of enemies. This seems like a big old. Uh, Rock, paper, scissor kind of. The ships are good against other ships and stuff like that. The butt missiles, super strong against most ships. Yes, they are strong. But short range though. So the guy must be following you uh, quite. Uh... Anyways, this one is. I only have one of those ships. The Spathy I've retreated, so I have one Spathy ship, that is all. This is a special place. You must go now. I must go now. You are the Nod. I am the Nod. You must go now and never return. That's fine, that's fine. I'm gonna read on the Ranger, uh, Star Ranger, but I wouldn't be surprised since it came out in 2002. It was heavily influenced by Star Control 2. And that is, the humor comes from Star Control 2, I would bet your ass. Orbital Bombardment! <laughs> yeah, but I think I want to go on this planet here. I didn't do all this for nothing. Ah, oh, come on, really? I thought they were not here anymore. They would all go away or something. You have returned to a special me. place. Just it. Blah, 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 blah. We will go now. Maybe I have to wait. Are they all going now already? No, nothing's happening. What the fuck? What do I do now? <laughs> Shit, man! That took a fucking while to do that. Do we know of that place, the Corb? Uh... It's just the name of a planet. You can't see the name of planets on this map. It's just a constellation. Can you imagine all the planets? Okay, well I don't know what to do now. Right, let's go back to Earth, I guess. I thought we would have access to the planet like quickly. I'll go back to the Yihat and see what's going on with them. Let's do a little tour. Nine, okay. That's that part. What's their planet that you had? Uh, Gamma Serpenti. Yeah, let's go there.
uh, which planet here though? Oh. I do not know. Let's go into blue world near the sun. Human, you shall never be fully comprehending the damage you're doing now to our Yehat culture. For fully 2,000 years there's been peace between the clans, and now you have cast the ancient seed of dissension between our beaks. The bloody wars of ascension are renewed, and you are the cause, Captain. While the deep, deep traitors may be your allies, Captain, I can be assuring you that we of the deep, deep starship clan are wanting nothing more dearly than your death. Okay. So how's the revolution going for you guys? Revolution? You compliment yourself unnecessarily, Captain. This is nothing more than a band of... Thugs trying to undo the peace of a hundred generations. We will roast the traitors in their ships and crack the eggs in their clan homes so that never again will the zeep zeep criminals be flying through our stars. The cowards live? This is unbelievable. This is a sad, sad day to be hearing this thing from me. The big be telling me wretched creatures and I'll see rebellion. The pain and suffering of this useless conflict are being nothing but a tragic waste of life. Congratulate yourself, Captain. The source of all this death and misery is yourself. Ah, oh, really? No, you know. I must pay. I think you will pay. I only have 30 guys on my ship, though. So let's be careful. Eh hey, shit! Oh my god, even my super weapons are were no match for this little guy. Great. <laughs> wow. Let's go directly in that <laughs> Yeah, this is the old world. Human! Like all heroes, you be as brainless as you are brave. Do you not know that here there be none of the traitorous deep, deep starship clans? You're as good as dead, human! Yeah, I'm just, just... Flying around, talking to people. I'm just, I'm just gaming, man. So how's the revolution going? Oh, it's the same thing, we don't have any more to say. No. And now it's gonna be infinite ships. Let's just try the free foam. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, shields and all. Holy crap. Yeah, he has fucking shields. Yeah, I'm not good at this. Never said I was. <laughs> yeah, let's try again with the junction. If I keep my distance, maybe. Okay, so we have no reason to go here. Oh shit, when is this? Oh, this is when I went to the... This is before... We'll 
Whoops. Whoops, indeed. Oh, this is a bad save here. You know what? I'm going to redo this then. You have to look. This is a special place. You must go now. So, does somebody know what you... I have to do? Do I have to wait? Till they go away? Okay, I should save now. This one. Or maybe let's go back to the pekunk. Oh, they're moving again. Ah, oh, so maybe now when the pekunk will encounter the year hat, it will be different. Now that the year hat are. Separated. I'm just guessing right now. Uh, let's go back to Earth. Things can still hit me when I when the game is over. When the battle is over. They all want to kill me. This is good to go back to Earth. Pretty close to the pekunk. I might go a little visit. Oh yeah, nice. This must be one. We are dedicated to returning home to heal our despite. 
fictional species structure. We understand that you mean well, but there is nothing you can do to dissuade us this time. Star control is serious. <laughs> It, it really isn't. It is and it isn't. That's why I like it. Didn't you know this is the um, year of the swollen moon? Bad time to travel. Yeah, I don't. I can't do anything here. I'm just gonna go. Um. If I go in the middle of there, usually it's like it's kind of their own world. Their main ship. It's just a test. Maybe it's not. Because once I was. I was traveling like this and I encountered a bunch of them. Well, maybe one or two. And then I encountered another one. And he had little. He had different things I could say to him. And the same dialogue that when you go to the home world of the peacock. At least that's what I remember. Anyways, I'm gonna reload this. Start map. Go back to Earth. Get some crew. Unload some stuff. Maybe do some mod. Some modding. And then I think I'll gonna forget about the Micron for a little while. Captain, I'm good. The analysis reads as follows. Subject Micon egg case. Data? We really didn't know Micon came from eggs, but our analysis of this sheath shows that it's been subjected to phenomenal temperatures and pressures. The most unusual aspect of the egg case is its size. We know Micon's range in height from 0.5 to 3.5 meters, but our reconstruction of the whole egg case shows it to be over 25 meters high. Summary, if a Micon came out of this, he's got to be really big. That's the end of our scientist's report. More fuel for the fire. Bring back... I thought we would get better advanced turning jets or something, better thrusters, but maybe you don't. Because the speed I'm going seems to be a good balance between, like, because if I could change all of these, I feel like I would go way too fast compared to the other ships. Maybe not. And I could change this for the other, uh, another one of these Elbor cannon. 
Yeah. Yeah. Default. Yeah, let's go back to Utwig space now. So I have to go to the Utwig. Oh well. There's another species just beside it. I should visit. Uh, star map. No, not star map. Really? No. Oh, it always does that. No. That's not what. <laughs> Just as. <sighs> Where's my fuel? Oh, is it this guy? Are you fucking kidding me? That guy above? Wow, that, fuck it, that's a waste of time. I'm not calling for fuel. That was my last save. Oh, 
lots of planets here. Talk to you. Do this one. This will be annoying.
fighting these guys that so they don't talk to you is a is a challenge. <laughs> Oh, that's it. We have nothing As else to say. Oh, really? Shit. 
Uh, okay, so this is the own world. I will note it down. Uh, Beta Aquari 1. But there was no reason to come here. fast traveling to the soup box and yeah talk to someone there they shouldn't be uh, aggressive it looks like from what I understand I wasn't sure about that if I put it like this is that everything behind the Korra here doesn't seem to be they've been attacked a little bit but the, the battle seems to be going on more in this part of the galaxy here because the Urquan doesn't don't have like a circle but they're they seem to be in in here the Urquan and the Korra is everything here yeah I think this will be it for tonight um, we'll encounter the soup box next stream. Well, maybe we can just encounter them here. Uh, did I say before going there? Well, I don't even know if I'm gonna keep that safe. But anyways, we're gonna encounter the aliens, see what they look like, and talk to them a little bit. Did I just... That guy just came out of the sun. No. We're too depressed to talk to you. Just go away. <laughs> Leave us to ponder our grief. What did I say? As do we. Go now with neither malice nor joy. Bye. You're you're the one coming at me. I don't know why. <laughs> Uh, using the teleport here might have been faster, anyways. What? I just went here because I thought I would intercept someone. I didn't. <laughs> Whoops. Go here. Isn't there anyone? Oh, weird ships. Cool, colorful. Greetings, fellow carbon creature. May your roots always be well watered. It's a serious game. <laughs> no, this is a crazy game. I'm Captain Camilio from Earth. We come in peace. I am Captain Ala Lala. We come in peace. Excellent. Our starship is called the Tender Shoot. The Tender Shoot. We are the Supox Utricularia from Earth. Excellent. Eh? You're from Earth? Oh, yes. We apologize for the confusion. Our home world is also called Earth. Or more properly, Black, which means perfectly good and nutritious dirt. Earth is pretty close, is it not? It is. Why do you cut your speech? We learn and we. Anyways, we're gonna talk to them uh, next time. I might even find out where the home world of these guys is if they're not gonna tell me outright, so we don't have to search all the galaxy. 
Yeah, the music. So next time I'll be playing some Star Control will be next Sunday. Tomorrow I'll be playing some uh, Mighty Magic 6 and Saturday uh, shouldn't be any more, any stream Saturday. And Sunday some Star Control 2. I stream pretty much every day at 8 p.m. Eastern Time. My schedule is on the Twitch uh, page or below this video. Uh, you can also find follow me on Twitter. And you can jump in my Discord, and I'm gonna raid someone right now. It's gonna be Taco Salad, who's playing some point and click adventure Legend of Kiria Kirandia. It's like Nyx. Uh, Yefe is playing uh, Kirandia 2, Taco Salad's playing Kirandia 1. This is a Westwood game, and I never played it. I'm big into point and click. I should play it soon. By soon, I mean in the next 10 years. Well, that's it, guys, for tonight. Remember to have fun. Peace.